Good morning. It's 5.30 in the morning and I am on my way to Gothenburg. The passengers in a couple of minutes we will arrive at the Gothenburg Central Station, which is final destination for this train. I just checked into my hotel here in Gothenburg and it's right at the central station, so it's close, and that was super nice. But anyway, I need to go and eat something now, and I know exactly where to go. I tell you this, this was an amazing food experience at the restaurant Andrum here in Gothenburg. I always pass by restaurant Andrum because they have a great vegetarian buffet restaurant and they have some amazing food. And I'm not even a vegetarian, but I absolutely love that place. And it's cheap also. I mean, for 150 kroner, which is equal to about 13 euros or 14 American US dollars, which is, by the way, that's cheap restaurant food here in Sweden. It's uh, evening now and uh, I'm kind of tired, so I'm going to go to bed early and tomorrow I'm going to eat uh, hotel breakfast. And then I'm thinking that I should do a, like a brief history tour of some important places here in Gothenburg or some places that, um, that is of interest because I have lived in the city, so I know a little bit of the city. I don't know everything and I don't know things in, in depth, but anyway, it could be a fun thing to do. I am uh, currently at Jan Torjat here in Gothenburg and Jan Torjat basically means the iron square. And this square was important for the trading of iron here in Gothenburg. And what you also can see here is a lot of interesting architecture and you will also be able to see some um, sculptures. And what is also close by is the part of town that's called Haga, which is a very fun place to visit with a lot of cafes and uh, old buildings and uh, just a very hip place to, to visit, so that's a must visit if you visit Gothenburg. And uh, this is a prime example of the wooden houses that you can find here in Haga. They all look like this, but apparently you can find this too. This street is usually passing with people in the summer months because of all the tourists and also all of the locals that visit this place but now in the winter it's not that much people now what you also need to visit if you are in uh, haga is this cafe because they have buns the size of a plate and they are really famous for that and uh, by the way, they also have great coffee, so if you're into coffee like I am, this is a great place. And I think I'm going to take a coffee now. I am now at the fortification Skansen Truna, which is located a steep climb, but just uh, very close to to Haga, where I just was. But anyway, this was a military fortification, and as you can see, it has a crown of uh, gold. This fortification was built between 1687 and 1700 and also served as a local prison sometimes and emergency housing sometimes. And what you also can find here is a waffle cafe. I have never been there, but uh, it's not open now, but probably open in the summer. And what you also will see here is some great views of the city. I think this is probably the best views of the city that you can get if you don't go up to one of the skyscrapers. If we look over here, we can see the Vasa church and the Hotel Gutia Towers. 
what you also can see from here is the football stadium Ullevi, which uh, when full takes about uh, 50 or 55,000 people. And I once actually was there on a concert with Iron Maiden and it was completely full and such an amazing experience. Maybe we will have to use those old canals if someone decides to invade us. This is the Kala Tower and when completed will be Sweden's tallest building with 74 floors. I have lived 50 meters from it before they started construction, so let's have a closer look. This skyscraper is absolutely huge when you are close to it. And by the way, I used to live in that house and I used to call it the starship because it resembles a starship for me. I am standing now just at the building where I used to live and this is how close the skyscraper is. Central Gothenburg is now basically a big construction zone because of a big infrastructure project. They are basically building uh, rail tracks and uh, a big uh, road underneath the city. But I think they've done something positive about it. They have talked to local artists, so it looks pretty nice, I think. So, time for another great coffee house then. So, I just worked out and man did I have a great session. But anyway, I am so so hungry now and I know exactly where to go. It's a Nepalese restaurant that I we sit quite often when I'm in Gothenburg, so let's head over there and eat some dinner. I am still on my way to the restaurant, but uh, the restaurant is located in the oldest parts of uh, the town. Behind me is Kronhuset, literally the crown house that was built 1642. And first it was built for, they needed to have some uh, war items stored here in Gothenburg but anyway the part of the town that I am now currently in is just located like uh, a couple of hundred meters from the main shopping areas but there is usually no tourists here only local people so I think it's a hidden diamond for the city of Gothenburg and it is like zero to no car traffic here I think it's only a car traffic allowed for people that lives in this area and for shops and so on and there is no trams no buses nothing like that so it's a very quiet and calm place and as you can see they have mixed in some modern buildings together with this uh, really old beautiful buildings and I, have, uh, and I have nothing against that and here is the restaurant that I'm going to restaurant Himalaya I just realized that the Gothenburg is full of street art like this and the art sort of reminds me of um, Banksy's art but this is not Banksy, I believe, but it looks like Banksy. Good morning. It's a Sunday now, almost 10 o'clock. I didn't sleep anything last night. I don't know why, but um, 
I just couldn't fall asleep, so uh, I have just had my breakfast like two hours ago maybe and just had a chill morning here at my hotel. But anyway, this is my last full day here in Gothenburg, so I think I need to do some things to just take a full advantage of the day. So I have two things that I have decided to do. And the first thing that I'm going to do is um, visit a cafe place that I haven't visited before. So of course I need to visit that. And it is within walking distance from the central station where my hotel is located. So it, it is just going to take me a couple of minutes to, to walk to that place. And the other thing that I am going to do is something that I haven't done before. And that is visit Skansen Legionet. And that is basically a, a scones. I don't know if you pronounce it scones, but anyway, scones is a small fortification. And that fortification, Skansen Leonet, is part of the same fortification system as uh, Skansen Kronan that I visited yesterday. That is what I'm going to do today. I'm also going to do some other stuff, but I haven't decided what yet oh man this place was so good i had a cafe macchiato and a mazarin and it was just really really good and it was absolutely buzzing with people and it felt like i was in the italian countryside when i was here because i heard actually some italian so this military fortification was, was actually built at 1687, the same year as the Skansen Kronan that I visited yesterday. But uh, the first military fortification here was actually built on this hill at the year 1303. And if you just take a look at this here, they have actually found some, uh, although all of it is in Swedish, but basically they have found some old weapons here and uh, some old knives and plates and things that you use in an ordinary household. So that's pretty cool. So what I think is that uh, the view is really not that impressive here, it's not that high up, but if you like watching rail tracks and trains, this is the place. But uh, it wasn't that difficult to, to get here actually, I just took the bus to that bus and tram station, only one station away from the central station. But even though it looks close, it took some time to walk here because I had to walk under the rail tracks and up here and then up here. But also what I read that apparently at this very place that I'm filming now, a tower stood in the 15th century or uh, 16th century, I mean, year 1500. To be honest, I wasn't that impressed by this. I mean, the only information sign was the one over there that I just showed you. And uh, it was actually more interesting watching the trains and trams pass by. And uh, it wasn't open to the public either, so I couldn't go in. So I made it to Slottskogen Park here in Gothenburg and it, it's a pretty big park and every time I go here I find some new place to visit and this time I am going to visit an old water tower which should have some great view viewpoints and I have never been the, there before. In fact I didn't even know about it until I googled it. So here it is, the water tower. So you actually do get some views over here, but it's pretty blocked by all of the forest around there. But I can tell you this, the nature is actually very beautiful. So the walk up here was totally worth it. But I believe if you're able to walk up uh, 
there you should get some really great and astonishing views of the city. So I'm going to see if I am able to walk up there, but uh, I'm not so sure about it. Unfortunately, it was uh, locked. And I think that was a bit um, sad because it would have been incredible to walk up there and look at the views. And what you also can see from this tower is the ocean. And uh, if we zoom in maximum, we can actually see parts of the Gothenburg Archipelago, which is incredibly beautiful. I have been there and it's so, so beautiful. And you can actually go by boat to the archipelago. They go frequent and I think that is one of those boats. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to visit the archipelago this time. And I think it's more beautiful in the summer than in, in the fall. Isn't this the coolest playground ever? A whale that you can walk into? And I believe this is actually based on a real thing because I think Gothenburg Museum of Natural Sciences, there is actually a real whale that you can walk into that occurred about like maybe 100, 150 years ago. I have been into that whale on a previous visit. All right, let's leave this playground and this whale mount because I am starving and I need to find something to eat. No, that felt so nice. That was probably the best food that I have had during this trip to Gothenburg. But uh, anyway, I am now uh, on my way to drink some coffee again, of course. And I know exactly where to go. I'm going to my favorite coffee place in the whole city of Gothenburg. They have truly amazing coffee. Oh, this was great as usual. I spent the last couple of hours here at my hotel room because, um, you know, I didn't sleep that well last night. In fact, I think that I didn't sleep anything. And uh, after I went to that uh, coffee place, or actually when I was at the coffee place and was sitting down, I just felt like I got so tired. And it felt like, this is difficult to explain, but it felt like my brain wasn't really working so yeah it felt like my brain was an overload or something like that uh, it wasn't the worst that I have felt I have felt way more worse but uh, I felt like I needed to just go back to my hotel room and uh, rest and just chill if you are tired and have this uh, disease that I have and you feel like your brain doesn't really work it's like it's no fun to to go explore it's better to just uh, take a step back and uh, go back to your hotel room and rest for a couple of hours so you will have more energy for the rest of the day my plan was actually to hit the gym today also but uh, I decided against that um, actually in the already in the morning because I knew that my body would not accept it today and uh, I have been walking a lot also so I have been getting my my exercise I think I have walked like 10,000 steps at lunchtime already and then I went out of my hotel at like 10 in the morning so in two hours I walked like 10,000 steps which is just uh, insane. But I have had such a fun day here and I have had such a fun stay here in Gothenburg. It's uh, five o'clock in the afternoon now and um, my plan for the rest of the evening is to maybe go out and take a short walk or something like that. Uh, explore the city a little bit more. Um, take some photos of the night sky and uh, also i want to go to the vegetarian restaurant that i visited uh, two nights ago because uh two days ago i should be correct i wasn't there tonight but uh 
they had such a great food. I want to eat there again. I have eaten on that place many times before and they always have great food. And if you know me, you know that I love great food and great coffee. So uh, I'm going to go there and actually they're like five minutes walking distance away from the hotel room. So it's perfect for my energy levels to, to go to that place or, or to go to that place also. And also that restaurant is located like five minutes walking distance from my hotel. So it's great for my energy levels also. And then I might grab some snack on my way home, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe I will hit the gym tomorrow because my train leaves at 8.24 in the morning and uh, my hotel is located just on top of the uh, train station. I literally can see my, my uh, departure track from my window. It is just beneath my window. If I get up, get up early tomorrow and I feel like I have the energy, I can hit the hotel's gym, then go eat breakfast, pack my bags and uh, sit here until like 8, 10 or something like that and then go down to the train. And by the way, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, I really appreciate that because that really helps me spreading my knowledge about my disease and uh, I just appreciate it uh, to spread my story. Even though this vlog is not really about uh, my disease. So if you want to know more about my disease, um, check out my other videos. Behind me here is an important part of the history of the city of Gothenburg because between 1820 and 2015 was the shipyard of Gothenburg actually located here. It was all the way from the, from the northern side of the river shore here and I'm currently on the, the south side. But anyway, it ceased to exist under in different years during a couple of decades and it was a really big hard hit for the city of Gothenburg because basically Gothenburg has been a city for industries, for heavy industries. So we, you were either working at the uh, shipyard or at Volvo. Of course you could work somewhere else also but um, they were the main employers of the city for many 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 years. But anyway, they have left some parts of the shipyard still uh, visible for the public. They have left some cranes that are visible and they are also visible at night time. But uh, they don't work, they don't do anything. They are just here for remembrance of the shipyard. And also, as you can see, they have built buildings now they are continuing to evolve this part of the city and they are going to build even more skyscrapers and not New York City sized skyscrapers but anyway some high-rise residential building and offices this is one of the most famous buildings of the skyline of um, Gothenburg it's an office building right here in the center of Gothenburg and it looks like lipstick and it, it is actually by the people here in Gothenburg called the lipstick you either hate it or you like it judge for yourself but I kind of actually like it I like the um, kind of harsh architecture and that they play with the, the colors and so on and it looks really futuristic also it sort of looks like a spaceship for me. So I didn't want to film while this guy was apparently walking out of his home. But anyway, how cool isn't that? A floating house in central Gothenburg. So if you have wondered what that cool boat is behind the, the other cool boat, that old ship is actually a fully functional hotel. Never slept there, but someday I will, because it looks cool.
Good morning. It is just after seven in the morning and my train home leaves in about uh, one hour and uh, ten minutes. So uh, I'm going to get dressed, go eat some breakfast, pack my things and uh, take a shower and then go home. And uh, I think this is going to be it for this vlog. Uh, so we'll see you in the next one. Bye.